Hey guys, welcome. I'm Rob, YouTuber at Mailbird, and today I'll be speaking to you about what we consider to be the best email clients for Windows. After analyzing many providers, we have found the best options to suit your email management needs. For this analysis, we focused on six key areas. Multi-email account support, user experience, configuration, security, integrations, and support. Mailbird is an intuitive and powerful email client with a simple design and tons of room for customization. Every single feature is designed with multi-account management in mind, allowing you to effectively manage your email accounts and correspondence. Mailbird is designed to handle multiple emails with ease and flexibility from almost any email provider. It's packed full of powerful features and still manages to have a clean design that's easy to navigate and a great deal of customization. Mailbird is easy to install and configure and supports all popular internet protocols like IMAP, POP3, SMTP, and Microsoft Exchange. But Mailbird doesn't support CalDAV or CARDAV. Mailbird would never willingly share your data with any third parties. It values the safety of your personal information and never stores sensitive data on the servers. It's only stored on your computer. Mailbird integrates with more than 30 apps. Mailbird has a help center with handy articles about different features. You can also contact our customer support if you don't find an answer in the knowledge base and need to chat with an actual human. EM Client is an email app for Windows and Mac that's marketed as a Thunderbird and Outlook replacement. It does have some good features that other clients don't have, but it also has some downsides. EM Client supports most email providers and allows you to add unlimited email accounts in the paid plans. Note, you can only add two accounts in the free version. It has an intuitive interface and is easy to start using. It's not cluttered with extra icons and details, so it's pretty easy to navigate. EM Client supports IMAP, POP3, SMTP, Exchange, and AirSync, although it doesn't provide end-to-end -end encryption. It does support OpenPGP and SMIME encryption, so its security level is pretty high as the standards allow you to send encrypted messages. The app has a very limited range of integrations. You can use apps such as OwnCloud, NextCloud, and Zoom, but that's about it. EM Client only offers customer support in paid versions, but there's a forum for free users. Thunderbird is an email app that's withstood the test of time and has quite a big following as it's one of the oldest email apps out there. Thunderbird supports almost all email providers and you can add as many accounts as you like. It also has a unified view for folders. It is highly customizable with add-ons and layout options. Unfortunately, the user interface is grossly outdated. This means that simple features such as dragging and dropping pictures do not work on the app. It is really easy to install, but also easy to run into issues connecting to your email provider server. This is likely to happen with Gmail as Google doesn't view Thunderbird as a safe tool. Thunderbird supports OpenPGP and SMIME. You can also set up end-to-end -end encryption for message content. The email client offers a lot of add-ons. These range from third-party apps like Google Calendar to Thunderbird-specific extensions developed by the community. Thunderbird has a community page where you can ask for advice from other users, but no official customer support, as is usual with free products. Outlook is a tried and tested email client that's experienced a lot of growth over the years. It's gone from a clunky Windows 95 style design to quite a sharp looking email app. You can add emails from most providers and manage as many accounts as possible. Sadly, Outlook is yet to have a dedicated unified inbox feature. The email client has a clean-cut design with enough room for customization. There are a few layout choices, themes, and other options. Outlook is easy to install. In fact, you can use the built-in wizard that detects setup instructions automatically when it comes to accounts. Or you can go through the manual process of filling in accounts and server details. Outlook doesn't have specific security features. It easily integrates with other Microsoft products and also supports many third-party apps. Outlook has an extensive base of support articles and a community forum. Spike is an email client with a chat-like view. 
It combines aspects of email such as archiving, snoozing, and marking as unread with aspects of a chat, like sidebar view of a conversation, folders, and contacts. Spike supports most IMAP email accounts and hosting services. You can also add multiple emails to the app and use a unified view if you're adding your personal accounts. This email client has a chat-like view and a clean-cut minimalistic design, although the new interface may take some time getting used to. Configuring Spike is quite simple. It identifies your email provider automatically and allows you to change your profile name and picture upon installation. Spike is ad-free and provides email encryption. It is also adamant about never sharing, reusing, and manipulating personal data. Aside from built-in features such as notes, tasks, and calendar, Spike doesn't integrate with any other software. For free users, there's only a self-help center available, but the paid plans offer customer support and some advanced features. Mailspring is a spin-off of Nihilus Mail, an open-source email client that was discontinued in 2017. The decision to rewrite Nihilus Mail was to improve the original software by reducing memory usage and accelerating email sync. You can add multiple IMAP and Office 365 accounts, but Mailspring doesn't support POP and Exchange accounts. It has a unified folder that appears in the taskbar over individual accounts, and you can also view accounts separately. Mailspring is one of the cleaner looking email clients. It has several layout options and a variety of themes. It's easy to install and it's also easy to set up all your email accounts. First, however, you'll need to create a Mailspring ID to use the platform's features. Mailspring complies with GDPR and doesn't store user data, although it doesn't offer any specific email security features. The app integrates with Microsoft 365 and Fastmail, but that's about it. Finally, there's a community forum and a customer support. Well guys, that's it for today's video, and I hope that this provided some clarity on what email client works best for you. I'll drop the link below to the blog article, where you can find all the information and details that you may need. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. I invite you to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all Mailbird's content on email management and productivity. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.